I, I mean, I said it the whole time. I said this fight's going to be easier than Nate Robinson. And no one believed me, per usual. At one point, I was the underdog as a betting favorite. I'm not going to let y'all forget that. I was the underdog. <laughs> that sounds crazy, but I was the underdog. And I knew it was going to be easier because Nate Robinson was weird. He fought like, like a random guy on the street. Like, I don't know. I knew Ben was going to sit there like a typical MMA fighter and just have no head movement and his body was going to be wide open. And I'm just too powerful. The, the cows in Ohio produce a different type of protein. And when I'm sitting there bailing hay since a 10 year old, I just got some real thick shit in my arms. Listen, I've said it before and I'll say it again. This kid's done a good job of putting himself in a place to make some money, man, you know? So good for him. Um, he's got you guys talking about him all the time and asking questions about him and got Daniel Cormier running after him. So he's doing something right, you know? He knocked out an NBA guy that was 40 years old and 30 pounds less than him and, you know, I don't even know what to think about the Askren thing, man. I, I, it's a whole thing and mind-boggling to me. But, um, hey, good for him. Grab that money while you can, kid. I was going to say, would you ever do business with him? I mean, it sounds weird, but the numbers are there. The numbers are there? Nah, I don't know if the numbers are there. I, I, listen, do you know what, the, what would happen to this guy? He ain't fighting in the UFC. These guys are... You're getting me talking about the guy again. He's getting hand-picked opponents. It, it's all... There is a market for that. That's not what I do. That is not what I do. People want to see that, and, and, and you know, people want to see it, and, and it's great, and this kid's going to make a couple bucks before this, this ride is over, and uh, it's just not what I do. What I do is what happened tonight. What happened tonight is we sold this place out, and it was packed, and uh, the numbers that you're hearing that they did are full of shit, okay? They didn't pull those kind of numbers at all, not even fucking close. And um, tonight, what happened here tonight is what I do. The best versus the best. There is a market for that. People want to see that stuff, and that kid's going to make a couple bucks, and good for him. Blessing. But that's not what I do. Blessing for me. That was a work. Trust me. That was a fix. Everybody knows Ben Askren took a dive. And let's be honest. Let's talk about what Ben Askren did to the wrestling community. He just set wrestling back like 100 years. It's not cool to be a wrestler with cauliflower anymore. Usually, yeah, you walk somewhere, you got the cauliflower. That's the cool thing to be. You're a wrestler. Not anymore. You're a pansy if you're a wrestler because of Ben Askren. And another message to all you washed up fighters out there. Stop giving the MMA community a bad name. You're disrespecting us all, man. Stay on the couch stop trying to come off the couch and get crash grabs because you're making the mma community look bad if if you're going to do that just let send me in there let, for the mma community to end this little youtuber little disney star i will smack the pubes off the chin of jake paul he's an amateur he's a scrub he's not a real fighter and that fight was a fix you know if they are fighting well then it can't make a mockery of fighting right they're getting in and they're competing you know, I, I am not so much against it. What I would say is, though, the, the, the numbers that that, that that show calculated was it was a Mike Tyson fight. You know, you had Tyson, who'd, Tyson an icon in, in fighting, as well as Roy Jones Jr., two goats in the sport of combat. Of combat. Um, you know, and then you had the YouTube kid uh, and then an NBA star competing underneath that. So it, it done good business. Um Am I into those competitions myself? You know, it's not the most high level, if 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 any level at that at that stage. Obviously, the Tyson and Jones fight was very high level, and it was very interesting to see what they would be like in their in their older age. Or you know, but I thought they both fought amazingly. And uh, you know, if it as they say, if it makes dollars, it makes sense. I know Dana and the UFC are not really into it, but you know, I'm not so against it. I think I think you know, if people are willing to get in and take the risk of, of making that walk, you know, I, I, I am certainly a viewer. A prize fighter, you fight for prize and money. What, <laughs> what, what, <laughs> but at least about my question, what do you think when you see somebody that's not a trained fighter getting 1.3 pay-per-view buys and making, this, making more money than you that's not trained like Man, you? thank you for bringing that up. Uh, it's, 
Here's what I really think. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's a great business move, but it's just a disappointment too. You know, some people are selling out. I get it, because I'm, like, I'm looking, I remember watching that or even hearing about it going, I'm working my ass off, literally dying. Comes out there, says a couple of shit, and I know what he's doing. He, let's be honest, the guy sucks. He sucks. He really sucks. And look who's picking. So I get it, you know, from a business standpoint, a YouTube fighter going out there, and, or a YouTube person just going out there, and, and people are feeding off that because you have people that hate him and you have people that love him, but you still gotta watch him. It's genius. But at the same time, it's like, it humiliates what I call a real athlete that really put in the time. And I know guys behind me not even making that much. I know guys out there that aren't making much than the ring card girls. <laughs> So if he come knocking on your door, you and Coach Safe door, want, want you to be his next Ben Askren, what do you tell him? I say, I'm going to knock out, and thank you for the opportunity. That's it. Because we all know I will kill him. I would tell him this. I would tell him, bro, I would literally beat you with one hand. You don't deserve my right hand. And I will do it for free. That's how confident I am. And you don't have to answer this, but uh, Damon Martin texts me to ask you if you're a fan of Jake Paul yet. <laughs> God damn it, Damon. Uh, no, no, I'm not a huge fan of, of Jake Paul. That's, that's for sure. You, you talk about you're not a friend of Jake Paul, but do you think he gives uh, insight on how to make money in this combat sports game? Because 1.3 billion buys don't right. lie. Listen, my, my, uh, anyone that's followed my career knows kind of how I operate, and I, and I don't really – is he, is he generating money? For sure. But he's not bringing our pay scale up at all. Uh, he's paying himself, and, that, and that's really it, and, and whatever bum he drags in the fight. Um, and it, I'm really about respect, man. Like, the, the things that – you can say what you want about Ben Askren and his skills and his abilities, but that dude has, has, has won multiple world titles in multiple different uh, organizations – uh, he was an Olympic-level wrestler. He was a multiple-time national champion wrestler. Uh, all these people, all these fighters that are walking around here today, if Ben Ashkin walked in this room, every single fucking one of those guys would get out of the way and let him walk through. So, like, the way that Jake Paul talked to him, I had really, really big problems with when he was saying that Ben didn't, you know, wasn't able to talk about fighting. Like, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. It, as far as the, the business in the game um, and, and the way that he's generating interest and and like the financial part of it and the marketing part of it, Jake Paul's doing a phenomenal job. Uh, I, and I don't expect him to, to fight world champion boxers or, or, or even, you know, UFC, like, you know, top five or top ten ranked guys who can strike. I don't expect him to be able to do that um, because he just hasn't been in the game long enough. And, that, and that's not his fault. I, I think he's approaching it the right way. I think, I think he takes it very serious. I think he trains really hard. I think that he, he really puts the work in. Um, it's the same reason I stuck up for CM Punk the whole time. It, I, I always think everyone has, has the right to, I think everyone has the right to get punched in the face for money if that's what they want to do. Um, I just, I, I don't like the disrespect of, of guys in the game that, that deserve to be respected. And my final question, do you think we'll see more fights like that with people going for the money? Like uh, I hope there? so. I, I do, man. I hope so. I, I, I hope that more guys get those kind of opportunities. I like the crossover stuff. I, I think some people think it's, it's you know, kind of circus show, but it, I, I think it generates interest. I think the fans like it. Um, I tuned in. I paid for it. You know, I, I, I like that kind of stuff. And one thing I always liked about you, 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 you play video games, you watch other sports. What you think about the Askren Paul thing the other day? Did you get to catch that? <laughs> and what you think about the fallout? I caught it. I, want, I, I saw him get dropped, and I shut it off immediately and pretended like it didn't happen. I was like, ah, I'm not even going on Twitter. I was like, I, can't, I just can't believe what I just watched. And, uh, yeah, it just – that whole situation is kind of annoying as hell to watch as a fighter. First of all, if you watch that Triller event – like, I thought, like, the commentating everything was very disrespectful to the actual fighters in, in, that, in the boxing ring. Um, usually you hear, like, uplifting-type commentating where they look at the fighters as if they're, you know, special people and they look up to them with all the hard work they put in and how they put their bodies on the line. If you watch, like, Oscar De La Hoya when he was talking about Frank Mir and the way they were, like, commentating, I just thought it was, like, really disrespectful to the fighters, so I didn't like that. That whole event was super weird. Uh, and then as far as Jake Paul and Ben Askren, I mean, he... Ben Askren is a guy who's an Olympian. He's accomplished so much. I got not, nothing but respect for him as what it, with what he's accomplished in mixed martial arts and definitely wrestling. Big fan of him since I'm a, since I'm a kid. 
And um, but as far as a boxing boxing wise goes, if you had to pick one fighter that's you know do, doesn't have hands, he never needed them in MMA. He was able to dominate not in the UFC but in other organizations, and he could have won some big fights in the UFC too. I think he was he was he had the, he had the tools to do it just with his wrestling and his grappling. Um, but he never had striking. So then you, uh, he retires from MMA, he, he gets a hip replacement, and then he gets called out to do a boxing fight. And now he's labeled, he's a fighter. He's a fighter, he's a mixed martial artist, but he was really known for like, not having hands at all. And so now you got Jake Paul with his elevated ego and his whole squad calling out MMA guys. I'm just like, oh, someone needs to, someone needs to put an end to this. My question would: Would you be that guy? And with all the craziness, the disrespect on the play-by-play, -play, would you do it for the money? That's 1.3 billion buys. Listen, of course, I would love to smash his face, and he would have no chance of beating me. But I, I also like it's—it's it's crazy. Um, you know, you probably make good money doing that. But I want to fight the best guys in the world. Like, and Cormier said it good too because he—he he was calling out Cormier, and he's like, "Yo, why? Like, who is this guy? I don't care how much money I'm going to get paid. Like, why does this guy deserve to fight me?" What has he done to fight me? And you don't want to be like an egomaniac, but really, like the guy hasn't earned anything, you know? So the other, on the other side of the token, I don't want to give him that opportunity.